guys, good afternoon. Hope you guys are good and well. I'm back here in Manila where all the action is. And there was a lot of economic data that was poured out over the past few days. Now you have inflation results, interest rate hikes, GDP uh, figures coming out. And you have, of course, our movement in the market. So the market today closed up. We're up above 7,700, which from previous videos, I posted it as our resistance level. So uh, next thing that we will need to find out over the next few days now, if the 7,700 range will hold. If it holds, there's some, there will possibly be a movement around 7,900 to as high as 8,100. But before any of that will happen, it has to have significant volume and conviction as well. But this video is not about uh, the market in general. This is about the stocks that you have requested via social media. So if you're new to this Facebook page, like. If you're new to this uh, YouTube channel, subscribe so you get updated on the latest on what's happening in the Philippine stock market as well. So this video, by the way, is also brought to you by Icon 2018, the largest investment conference here in the Philippines. It will be uh, May 26 at the Samsung Hall uh, in SM Aura Taguig. So I'll put, put the link below for, for those of you who want to join us then. Uh, the next Stock Smart sessions will be Stock Smarts Melbourne this June. Then after that, the next three, four, and fifth, and the fifth week of June will be for Stock Smarts Manila. Then I'm flying out to Qatar this July and Hong Kong also this July. Then August will be in Iloilo for another edition of Stock Smart. So uh, I hope you guys had a good week. I hope it was a great trading week as well. I posted this. I posted Globe you know, to start off the week because they gave amazing earnings results, which. Uh, followed on with a breakout from short-term level so I'll start with Globe as well no I mentioned in the previous video that Globe started to break out uh, from from its support uh, from its resistance levels which was triggered by amazing uh, amazing earnings so I also posted in that video that as long as Globe stays above uh, the 1700 uh, level or if it breaks out of that uh, it has a possibility to go higher. I pegged it. I pegged na meron mga resistances done. So now, what's interesting was this. Globe started its three-day run. Then yesterday, it had uh, a barrage of selling. But in spite of that, today, it's up and it's above 1,700. So the next thing to watch out for is this. If it stays above 17, I believe it will go and it will challenge the longer and stronger resistance at around 1,825. Uh, pesos per share so for position for quick traders watch out for the 1825 level it's a very very strong uh, resistance level now, if globe fails to break out of that level quick traders may now take profits I repeat 1825 failure to break out of 1825 quick traders may now take profits for position traders that is a trigger for for you to come in if it stays above and breaks out of 1825 that now becomes a, a buying signal for position traders because we are now seeing uh, bulls start to come in uh, in the stock as well so position traders keep key price range to watch out for is 1825 if you see uh, globe go above 1825 that's a buying opportunity already it means that uh, bears are out market has reversed uh, for that stock in particular uh, if it goes above 18 one, 1825 you are a quick trader don't sell yet but if it breaks out of if, if it fails to break out of 1825 uh, take profits and come back again as it starts to re as as it may retrace uh, downward naman. so that's it so um, over the previous months we've talked about a lot of stocks that have dropped a lot of stocks that have been bearish a lot of stocks that have been oversold but now I'm, I'm gonna feature one stock that uh, I think uh, as of this point in time may have a chance may have a shot of actually uh, reversing up and by the way this this prices are based uh, on at the last 30 minutes of trading so uh, there could have been some movements some shift as well in uh, the, the way the stock have moved based on a price point at its closing no but SM Prime Holdings uh, did quite well no uh, for all the stocks that we were watching it it's trying to do a textbook reversal already. Please remember this. At the end of the day, uh, SM Prime is a sound company. It's a fundamentally sound company that's good, growing, and has so much uh, potential. So whatever movement that you saw downward for SM Prime was just really from a sentiment standpoint. It was just really uh, price actions. SM Prime will remain to be an amazing company that will continue to go up. And now, is, I think it's evidence to what it's doing. You know, it, 
it has started to reverse it formed some sort of a base already in around 31 32 levels then it started to break out of the downtrend but not just break out of the downtrend it did something today that it broke past the uh, resistance level at 34.8 pesos per share so uh, here's the thing the next resistance is for uh, for SM Prime is around is around 35 and 35.5 however uh, at one point today SM Prime already uh, broke past that broke past that resistance level so what do you need to watch out for for those who are holding SM Prime number one is the 35.6 level if SM Prime SMPH uh, fails to hold the 35.6 level quick traders may take profits I repeat if SM Prime fails to hold uh, the 35.6 level quick traders may not take profits but if you are a position trader and suddenly SM Prime also stays above 36, 35.6 pesos per share, that will now be its new base, that will now be its new support. Uh, I believe SM Prime can uh, go higher if it stays above 35.6 pesos per share because that will now be uh, its new support range already for uh, the midterm. So, and that point also will be a trigger for its reversal. Please remember this for position traders, our goal is to come in when there's a legit reversal already. Our goal also is to come in when we the trend shift from a downtrend into something that's going up so uh, 35.6 becomes a trigger for position traders to come in a breakout from 35.6 stays above 35.6 it can be a trigger for the stock to go higher if you are a quick trader it stays above 35.6 do not sell your positions yet as the stock may even uh, trend higher and it now has a possibility to challenge again it's uh, its highest high so those who came in when it was oversold those who came in when it hit a solid a certain support level already as close as it was to 31 32 you guys did a good job there so now your your job now is to take profits if 35 point, uh, 35.6 does not hold or to hold your positions if it holds and stays above 35.6 but position traders you may now come in from the 35.6 level already so that's it for SM Prime Holdings the next stock that I'd like to uh, talk about so we we're seeing now certain reversals on some stocks now SM Prime and Globe have started to reverse now let's talk about some bad stocks you have to remember I'm still under the notion I'm under the conviction that a bad stock no matter how low it has dropped if it's bad technically and good bad fundamentally it's not worth buying no matter how low it goes I'm talking about Semex I've still I'm still receiving a lot of questions about Semex about CHP on uh, what the future of the stock is uh, honestly the stock is still in a downtrend from a short mid and long term uh, level no the trend is still down no buy signals are evident and present for the stock if you want to buy it because it's low uh, it, I think it would be a bad decision if, especially if you're a position trader because it's still in a downtrend do not buy it while it's going down wait until there's specific reversal patterns that have uh, started to emerge so as of this point in time Semex CHP does not have any reversal patterns yet it's still in a downtrend and it can continue to go down uh, here's the thing it's a, it was around 3.15 when I looked at it kanina no? uh, it poses it as, as, as one of its lowest prices ever so why am I saying this uh, two things can possibly happen the 3.15 level may not hold if it does not hold you can expect Semex to trend even lower and it may even reach uh, a lower uh, position in the next few days and weeks however if it holds three po the 3.15 level uh, that becomes a very 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 uh, short resist uh, support level meaning for quick traders that, that can be an opportunity for you to make money meaning if it bounces from 3.15 buy at 3.15 and set your target price at 3.60 so you ha we have two analysis here position trading no buy signals yet for CHP for uh, quick trading we have something that's very I think uh, conditional a bounce from 3.15 set your target price at 3.60 please make sure if it fails to break out of 3.60 to take profits because if you do not take profits at 3.60 the stock is still at a downtrend and a downward pressure and selling pressure is still relatively strong if you buy from the bounce of 3.15 and 3.15 does not hold and it goes down uh, cut your losses stay away from the stock yet because the downward pressure may bring uh, the stock much 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 lower the next stock I'd like to talk about is East West Bank uh, for those who have been following the the requests or the videos that I've been doing lately, you know, East West Bank has been battered after it did its uh, stock dividends. And if you know me, I'm not a big fan of companies that give out stock dividends because it dilutes the stock and it causes the stock to be relatively bearish. So as of this point in time, from a position trading perspective, the stock 
is still bearish. You are position traders. Stay away from the stock. No buy signal yet. Uh, whatever movement that you, you're seeing right now for uh, for East West Bank is primarily because it's oversold. Primarily because it was sold down. So what does this mean for position trading? No buy signal yet. Stay away until it's until it starts to reverse. For quick trading though, because it is oversold and because you're seeing a relative uh, relative bounce from the 15.8 uh, peso level for those who bought at 15.8, please set your sights at the at, at the resistance or a target price of 17.35 pesos per share. So I repeat, support was 15.8. Those who bought close to 15.8, um, adjust your target prices to 17.35, which could be your target price as well. So for those who attended the stock the stock smart sessions, please remember that we put our we adjust our target prices based on how uh, stocks would move and based on how it bounces or it breaks out as well. So 15.8, uh, then that's where you set. Uh, 15.8, that's your support level, as, as close to it, to 15.8, as close to the bounce of 15.8 is a buy signal. Then the further it is, as it goes higher, the closer it is to 17.35, make sure to take profits, all right? So that's from a quick trading perspective. Again, to split analysis for this stock since you have, uh, you have the stock which is still relatively trending down as well. Now, let's go back to some, to another stock that has sort of uh, buck the trend as of late. No, you have to you have to understand the market in general over the past few weeks and months have been going down. It's been in a downtrend, but this stock has been going up. I'm talking about Vita. I'm talking about Vita Rich. So for position traders, uh, the stock is still in an uptrend for a short, mid, and long term. You are a position trader. No need to sell yet because this, the trend is still headed up. Uh, if you're a position trader, especially for those who bought at the breakout no, uh, last April 10 from the 2.1 levels, congratulations to all of you. You are still making money. You are still supposed to hold your stock again. Uh, the biggest temptation for people is when the stock is going up, they tend to sell too early. But what I always tell you, what I always tell uh, clients, especially those who attend stocks, Mars, the trend is your friend. As long as the stock is still moving up, as, to, as long as the stock is still in an up forward moving trend you don't have to sell it no matter if it goes up 20 40 60 80 100 200 300 400 percent it's not wrong to sell a stock that's going up it's not wrong it's sorry it's not wrong to hold on to a stock even if you're up more than 100 percent already your goal your goal should be to hold on and to ride that trend until you see its fullest extent so position traders no sell signal yet hold your positions for quick traders though uh, here's the thing yesterday it tried to go above 3.8, 3.9, and 4 pesos per share, uh, which at, at our perspective, no, 3.8 to around 4 pesos, there's a resistance already at that level. Hence, the downward movement that we're seeing now. So why am I saying this? Uh, if you're a quick trader and you want to make money from the volatility of the stock, its failure to break out of 3.8 level warrants already a take profit signal. So two wrong analysis here. Uh, those who are who following the trend, those who are position traders, no need to sell, Vita. But those who are quick traders, because of its failure to stay above 3.8, you may not take profits. There's no shame in that. Uh, possible retracement for Vita, no? it may bring it to around 3.25 because of its failure to break out and stay above 3.8 to as low as 2.95, which is where the support area is. All right, so that's it for Vita. We have uh, one, two, three more stocks to go before we end this. Uh, Stocks by request, it's relatively hot, no? Uh, ganun din Singapore. I think Singapore is more humid than uh, the Philippines. I, I think, no? So you can comment below if you think the Philippines is more uh, is more humid than Singapore. If you think Singapore is more humid than uh, than the Philippines. But I'm sweating already, but I'll do anything for the video, uh, for the videos. I, I really love doing this, no? Since I started doing this on a more regular basis, I think I've, I started doing this actively October last year. It's been funny. Eh? And I've been hearing feedback from most of you that uh, I should continue this so I'll keep doing this because I don't know this is my I guess this is and I've said this in different videos so this is my my way to influence society this is my way to influence the Philippines with there's so much going on in politics you have you have one opinion and then another opinion then you have difference in opinions and you have people hating on each other but for me well I just really want to focus on helping people uh, reach your goals of financial freedom and I think this is where I can make a difference in in your life as well so uh, next talk is now now for me was had a great run uh, there the run of, as of this point in time is done uh, because of that since sometime March 
this year it started to consolidate it started to uh, move in a trend like in a range like manner the range here is this it's 6.6 .6 to 9.35 so please remember this for those who are uh, who want to trade now money can be made in any type of market no? as long as you have a trading plan please remember this your goal is not to be biased on a certain stock but your goal is to be able to use the charts to your advantage for me it's all about technicals it's all about the charts and I don't that's why I love trading cryptocurrencies because I'm not a crypto expert but I know stocks I know charting I know how to follow technical analysis and the skills that I develop using technicals is what I'm using also in crypto is what I'm using also in Bitcoin in Ethereum and other uh, cryptocurrencies out there so for now for now we those who want to buy now or those who are watching now your support is at 6.6 .6 and your resistance is at 9.35 the closer it is to 9.35 avoid the stock the closer it is to 9.35 take profits and the, at the closer it is to 6.62 buy at those levels all right i'll make part two uh, for this video buy now at 6.6 .6 and stay away from it from at 9.35 and i'll give you the next batch of videos in the next in the next one so i hope this video helps you trade well trade strong and trade smart we 